everyone. We're going to start the next section 7-4. We're applying properties of similar triangles. So we know the triangles are similar. We're going to show you what you can figure out from that. Okay? First thing, if you've got a triangle and you've got a line that is parallel to one of the bases, say this is parallel to this, and guess what? It cuts these proportionally. That means that if this is 3 and this is 9, and this is 4 and this is x, you could always set up a proportion. That over that equals that over that. 3 over 9 equals 4 over x. We cross multiply, that's 3x equals 9 times 4, which is 36, divide by 3, x equals 12. Okay? Just like that. Okay, so if you have a triangle and one of the lines is parallel to one of the bases, it cuts those other sides proportionally. Okay? All right. Next thing. If a line divides two sides of a triangle proportionally, then it's parallel to the third side. Okay, pretty much what it's saying is the converse. First one, that first thing I told you, if the, we're saying that if that's parallel to that, then it cuts it proportionally. Next one's saying, hey, guess what? It cuts these proportionally. Now we know these are parallel. So parallel to proportion, proportion to parallel. Okay? And that first theorem that I told you was the uh, triangle proportionality theorem, and this is the converse of the triangle proportionality theorem. Okay? Fun stuff. Last thing. Okay? Or not last thing. Last thing until the next thing. Oh is the transversal proportionality, which means if you have two transversals, just say those are two lines, they're not parallel, there's two lines. If we have lines that cut them, that are parallel, say all three of these are parallel, it cuts all three of all these into proportional sections, okay? That means all this junk is proportional, all right, and you can set up a proportion. Next thing is the triangle angle bisector theorem. Triangle angle, if I go too fast, you know what I want. Triangle angle bisector theorem. Okay? Essentially, what this one says is if you have a triangle, and this is the angle bisector, it cuts that angle in half, which that side's equal to that. What this thing is going to do is it's going to set it up into a proportion. You guessed it. Well done. All right? which means that this is proportional to this, like 7 is to 14, as 8 is to 16, okay? It cuts these things proportionally, all right? And you can set it up, 7 over 14 equals 8 over 16. If you didn't have one of those side measures, you could always figure it out. All right, I know we're going fast, but you know what? Speed is the way to go. Oh my goodness, I think I just covered everything. Let's do an example problem of this, okay? Because I feel like it's the hardest out of all of them which pretty much all of them are just set up a proportion. Let's say that this is x plus 10, x plus 2, and then 14, and then 2x plus 1. Now, a lot of people get wigged out on the proportion things and how you set them up and what goes over what and which one goes where. Pretty much, it's harder to screw up a proportion than it is to get it right, okay? Pretty much, as long as you don't like mix them up when you set up your something over something equals something over something, like keep these two together and these two together, or keep those two together and those two together, okay? Doesn't matter, it'll work out for you, okay? Let's try 10 over, I'm gonna put that over that equals that over that, because I feel like it's easier, because I can actually draw that before I even start it, okay? That over x plus two equals 14 over two x plus one. Let's see if I did this right. Now, when you cross multiply these, you have to put it in parentheses, 2x plus 1, and then 14 times x plus 2. That way you can distribute. Do not forget to distribute. Sometimes they'll just do 10 times 2, and they'll leave it as 1 down there. You've got to distribute. So that's 20x plus 10 equals 14x plus 28. Subtract 10 over there, that's 18. Subtract 14 over here, that's 6x. And the perfectness of how this is working out, I would assume that I did it correct. X equals 3. So I can plug in X here. I know that's 5. Plug in X here. That's 7. Goodness gracious, that's some good math right there. Tastes delicious. We're done. <laughs>